You all right? What is there not to love about riding on pavement, hanging a left and hitting gravel, going through a little bit of wet stuff, something a little bit rougher, getting back on the pavement and heading home. How can anyone possibly find fault with that? I have been riding a lot of years and it took a lot of years before I figured it out and I'm tired of fast now I've done the fast thing and this is my speed and I just, and just love searching for unpaved roads and trails funny when I first got this bike last fall I'd be rolling down the highway on it and just blowing right past our roads not yet not even thinking about it it took so long before my head got around the fact that I could ride a legal a road legal motorcycle on dirt I've owned a lot of dirt bikes over the years too but for some reason my brain switches and when I get on a dirt bike you know, my body reacts one way, and when I get on a street bike, my body reacts another way, and my brain. And so, getting on one of these, with a license plate and turn signals, and... God, you guys, you're supposed to tell me when my turn signal's on, speaking of turn signals. That's almost a whole concession there. But anyway, so my, my, I get on one of these, my brain tells me that I cannot ride on gravel. Because sport bikes do not roll gravel nicely. So yeah. Anyway, it took me. A, it took me. <laughs> it was weird every time I had to. Every time I had to consciously make myself turn on the gravel. Now I'm getting used to it. Well, now I'm totally used to it and loving it. Matter of fact, it might be dangerous for me to go back to a street bike now. Because my street bike side of my brain will be telling me it's okay to ride on gravel. Not that it isn't on a street bike, but I'll tell you, it's not much fun. You get a 200 rear tire. That's as uh, bald as a track, track wet. Rolling around on ball bearings and it's not a good time. Tire pressure so high that every piece of gravel goes pop off to the side. This is much, much more fun.